All right, here we are, guys. We are wrapping up the Bones Brigade Series 14, the Black Light Edition from Pebble Peralta with this future primitive Lance Mountain. Such an iconic graphic, such an iconic rider. I absolutely love Lance Mountain. Lance Mountain is the guy that made skateboarding tangible for us lay people, you know? like. That first scene in the Bones Brigade video um, series outside of Stacy Peralta pulling out the skateboard from the TV, but Lance kind of, you know, throwing a skateboard out of the chimney and making him look like he's climbing out the chimney and then just dropping off the roof and then proceeding to kind of skate around the town, you know, over curbs and across grass and doing acid drops off cars. That just made skateboarding so tangible for, you know, a young kid in 1986 uh, that lived in, uh, you know, southern Ontario in a very small community that didn't have access to ramps or um, a lot of skate culture or whatever else. When we seen that video, we were like, this is awesome. This is something that I want to do and something that I can do. And it was because of Lance in those videos um, that I honestly believe that skating just blew up because it really presented an opportunity for just the lay person, you know, the average everyday kid to grab one of these things and go and have a blast with his friends. And so a lot of that is because of Lance Mountain. And honestly, such a key player in growing the skate community and culture back in the 80s uh, to what it is today um, on multiple levels. But anyways, let's get into this deck. Such an iconic deck. Vernon Cortland Johnson did the graphic on it. This is the future primitive. Uh, we have the ripper on top with the 7P saying 7 ply, and then the copyright, Bones Brigade copyright SOC 2023. So then on the, on the I guess the bottom of the deck, um, the main graphic area, we have Powell Peralta, Powell Corp, and then copyright, and I believe it's Roman numerical numbers there. I don't know, I haven't worked it out, but I'm assuming that says 1985, because that's when the graphic is from 1985 when Vernon Cortland Johnson did it. So I actually reached out to Lance. This is how tangible he is. I reached out to him on Instagram because I was like, what graphic came out first, this one or this one? And so Lance said that this graphic came out first here. So this, I think is Bones Brigade Series 5, but 5, 6, and 7, all three of those have the same graphic. Some of them actually say 1984, um, but this one says 1985 for the copyright. Uh, but that was the first graphic, future primitive graphic that came out, and then this one. And so Lance kind of got away from the skull and bones like Cab, and uh, yeah, came up with the future primitive. Well, Vernon Cortland Johnson was initially working on some graphics for the second video, Future Primitive, and Lance was really digging that, and so hence he had Vernon Cortland Johnson do up the art form on his deck, similar to what we were going to see in Future Primitive. Uh, from a concept standpoint and so just really rad yeah so i'm going to get into let's start with what you get with the deck um again with this series there's not a lot you're getting with it we got this little plastic sleeve here uh we had the additional plastic sleeve for the rider card which i think is really cool i would prefer this sleeve being inside the plastic though because as i've shown you in uh, the steve cab one uh, my rider card was bent up a bit and i think because in shipping it just it bent up so if this sleeve was inside then we wouldn't have to worry about being bent up and i do like the idea of the sleeve because otherwise the rider card in the past was just kind of floating around in this plastic sleeve um, and that would prevent it from floating around but also prevent it if it was inside from kind of bending up during shipping and stuff um, we get the three stickers here that are essentially saying not made in america anymore it's made in mexico this one is just saying that it uses um us seven plies of 100 percent american hard rock maple uh skate one and then we get the warranty and so that's the sleeve and like i said we didn't get anything else as far as uh video codes or pins like those pins from series 12 were really rad with those little quotes from the video uh, but yeah, we didn't get anything. Uh, the air fresheners were optional and uh, Beefers provided me some air fresheners for the decks that I bought from them, but I didn't get the Lance Mountain. 
um, from Beefer, so I didn't get an air freshener with it. Uh, but yeah, that was an optional purchase that you could get for $12.99 or 12 bucks or something like that. And so, yeah, we didn't get really anything extra. We just got the typical Ryder card, which I'm going to pull up. And I absolutely love these things. Uh, lots of great information on them. And I'm actually just going to read a little bit from the back here because I think it really, like, Stacy has such a strong quote. And there's a couple lines that I love that I think really identify who Lance Mountain is. And if you watch any of the videos and things, you'll know. He just comes across this humble pie who is just so thankful to be, you know, have the opportunity to be involved. Uh, he doesn't raise himself above anybody else. Uh, just, and I love that about people that, you know, I guess they could, but they recognize that, you know, they were at the right place at the right time, uh, built on their skill sets, had a lot of fun, but there's a lot of other people in the world that are doing amazing things as well. And um, I don't know, he's just, he's super humble and approachable. Even with this, again, I reached out to him on Instagram and he was happy to send me, you know, a message back, letting me know which graphic came out first, which is pretty awesome. And so just a few things that I wanted to point out on this card, just a quote from Stacy Peralta towards the bottom of the card here, but it says, Lance, like Rodney, is a fox in sheep's clothing. He's the clown and the assassin. I think that is such a killer line um, because, yeah, I think people don't recognize him as the assassin because he always looks like he's having so much fun. Um, but he really has been a strong contributor to, you know, the different tricks and stuff, the progress of uh, skating back in the 80s. He was really doing like some big ramp stuff when a lot of people were not interested or had the confidence to get up there and do those big airs. Lance was really rocking those. Um, and then it also says down here, this is another one that I love. Uh, he's both super competitive and yet funny and approachable. And somewhere in the middle of all of this, Lance embodies the every man, this last little bit. He represents both the madness and the freedom that all skaters feel. And I think that is such a killer quote from Stacy. Um, and it truly does, from what I've seen anyways, I feel like it really kind of, uh, you know, encapsulates who Lance Mountain is. So, Ryder card is really cool. I can't forget to tell you guys about this number that's down here, which is the limited run. So there was 2,500 decks in this run, and uh, my number was 516 of 2,500. Yeah, so 516 of 2,500. Again, they don't, it's just on the card. They don't put that on the deck. I really wish they would, but they don't. Um, but anyways, these cards are really cool because a lot of people will get a shadow box and kind of mount, you know, the card with them type of thing. Um, or just get a separate frame and kind of put it beside the deck. Um, so that looks really rad when uh, people do that. Anyways, all right. So that's all we got was the Rider card. That's it. We talked about the bag. Let's just run through some specs here. And uh, so this one, as far as the shape goes, it is the 156. Uh, and again, we've talked about this in all of my videos here with the PAL stuff, but the last three digits of the uh, number on the top part in between the trucks here um, lets you know the shape. And so this one says 156. Uh, the mold name, so the concave on this one is the SP0, and you can see there is like no concave on this thing. We actually have some wheel wells in this deck as well because of the lack of concave. And so uh, you would get wheel bite um, if it wasn't for the, um, yeah, just the little wheel wells that they put in here up at the, towards the nose. And so yeah, concave SP0. This one is pretty flat. <laughs> Definitely, you know, early to mid eighties uh, concave on this guy. Uh, all right, so the nose length on this one, Top of the trucks to the tip of the nose, 3.84. Measuring in between the trucks gets us our wheelbase, which is 15.38. Uh, the tail length on this one is 6.45. The total length is 30.67, and then the width is 9.90. As far as the truck hole pattern, we have, let me just pull up my trusty psycho riser. We can see here that it is indeed the old school truck hole pattern. So if you want to set it up, make sure you have some uh, OG trucks. That's a solution. Or you can get through Indy like some six hole base plates that will allow you to either mount new school or old school trucks, which is 
perfect because yeah you can't just go out and buy some new trucks and put them on here because they'll have the new school truck hole pattern so just something to be aware of if you are going to set it up uh, what else as far as the application for the graphics here they're no longer screening the paint right onto the decks it's the heat transfer so they put it onto a heat transfer and then they put it on like a big sticker uh, with heat so that's the process for the top and bottom graphic and I think there you have it. Again, we talked about the artist being Vernon Cortland Johnson. Thanks again, guys, so much for, you know, the comments, likes, the subscribes, and for following during this Bones Brigade Series 14. It sounds like there's going to be another 15 dropping soon. Uh, but I would be interested to know, like, what is your take? What are you guys thinking about these Bones Brigades that have been dropping? What Powell's got going on? Um, you know, the price points, the colorways, the graphics. I know for me... I feel like, you know, with the Powell's, we're paying more of a premium, um, but we're not getting, I don't know, a lot of variety from a graphical standpoint. It feels like it's just the same old rinse repeat, and I think that there are other graphics out there that would be really rad for Lance and Mike McGill and um, things to tap into that would mix it up a little bit. Obviously, you know, these ones that we're seeing are very iconic and we all love because we grew up with them, but there's some other ones as well that, you know, pushing mid 80s towards later 80s. Uh, that would be really rad to see too. Uh, but anyways, there you have it. I'll let you guys uh, go. Thanks again for those comments. Make sure you're engaging and definitely come back because we'll talk about the rumored Bones Brigade Series 15. And then I have some vision decks that I have to go through and I do actually want to... Um, Pull up that OG Sims Eric Nash that I got, which was my second pro board, and talk a bit more about that one. But anyways, you guys have a fabulous week. Thanks again for tuning in. Truly appreciate it. Peace out. Cheers.